Okay, we're talking about factoring polynomials, and we're in the process of working through several examples of factoring polynomials. And this is the, the next one we're going to do. 8AB minus 4A. Okay, I'm going to write this, I'm going to rewrite this problem with everything factored out as much as possible. Instead of writing 8AB, I'm going to write 4 times 2 times A times B. And then I have my minus sign, and I have 4 times a. And you can see that this term and that term both have a 4a. So I can factor out the 4a. And if I get a 4a out of this first term, I'm left with the 2 and the b. So I have a 2b there, and then I have my minus sign. And if I take my 4a away from there, I'm just left with 1. So 4a times 2b minus 1. These are the two factors. Those two things, if multiplied together, would give me the original expression. So I say this original expression has now been factored. And you can always check this by multiplying. And I'll just do this in my head. 4a times 2b, uh, sure enough, that gives me 8ab. And then 4a times 1 is the 4a. And so that's right. There's the minus sign right there. So that checks out. Okay, next example is 15x plus 20xy. Okay, I'm going to break this up into pieces. 15x could be written as 3 times 5 times x. And then 20xy could be written as 4 times 5 times x times y. Now what common factors do we see in this term and this term? Well, each term has a 5, and each term has an x. So I can factor out the 5x. So I'll write 5x times, and then let's look at the two terms and see what's left. Well, there's the 3 there, 5x times 3, and then I have my plus sign. And if I take the 5x away from this term, I'm left with the 4 and the y multiplied together. So this factors as 5x times 3 plus 4y. And again, you can check 5x times 3 is 15x, and then 5x times 4y is 20xy. Okay, let's do another. a squared plus 3a. Okay, how can we factor this? Well, a squared is a times a, and 3a is obviously 3 times a. So each of these terms has an a in it. So let's factor out the a. When I take an a out of the first term, that leaves me with an a. And when I take an a out of the second term, it leaves me with a 3. So a times a plus 3, that is the factored form of this expression. And again, we have two factors. If those two are multiplied together, it gives me the original expression. So these two factors are the factors of this. Okay, let's do another. 5x squared plus 10x. Okay, 5x squared is 5 times x times x, and 10x is 5 times 2 times x. So again, I can get a 5 out of each term and an x out of each term. So I'll factor out a 5x. And here, when I get rid of the 5x, that leaves me with an x. And then I have my plus sign. And over here, when I get rid of the 5 and the x, that leaves me with a 2. So I have x plus 2. 5x times x plus 2. That's one factor, and that's another. I've taken my original expression and broken it up into two factors. So I have factored it. And you can check 5x times x gives you x squared, and 5x times 2 gives you 10x. Okay, let's do one more here. 
6a squared minus 4a. Okay, 6a squared minus 4a. Well, 6a squared is 3 times 2 times a times a. Then we have minus 4a is 2 times 2 times a. So what common factors do we have here? We have a 2 and an a in each term. So I'll factor out the 2 and the a from each term. So I'll write this as 2a times, and you can see what's left here, a 3 and an a. So 2a times 3a will clearly give me that term. And then I have a minus sign. And all that's left over here is the 2. So 2a times 3a minus 2. And I'll hold up there and then come back in the next video and do the last set of examples.